Hey guys, Mr. P. In this video, we're going to talk about the link reaction, which is the transition reaction or the prep step. Last video, we talked in depth about glycolysis or the glycolytic pathway. If you recall, glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm, which is the fluid inside of the cell membrane but outside of the organelles. Glycolysis turns glucose into pyruvate, and then we said pyruvate was able to enter the mitochondrial matrix and then therefore enter the Krebs cycle. But there is a reaction that takes place in between glycolysis and the Krebs cycle, which is called the prep step or the transition reaction. So we're going to label this link reaction. And it is called the transition reaction or the link reaction because it links step one glycolysis to step two, which is the Krebs cycle. If we talk about this link reaction in detail and follow the molecular conversion of pyruvate to acetyl-CoA, we will obviously have a better understanding of this link reaction and why it is necessary in order to kickstart the Krebs cycle. So in the link reaction, we're going to start with pyruvate. If you recall from the glycolytic pathway, that pyruvate is a three-carbon compound, which again is half of the glucose that started it. Glucose was C6H12O6, which is six carbons. Through glycolysis, we convert that six carbon glucose into two pyruvates. So this link reaction happens twice per glucose, but we're just gonna look at one of those two reactions because they are both the same. Pyruvate is a three carbon compound. The first thing we're gonna do with that three carbon pyruvate is we are going to oxidize it, which means it is going to lose electrons. The electrons are going to be taken from the pyruvate by NAD+, which we've heard of before, NAD+, just like in glycolysis, NAD+, comes in, takes the pair of electrons and a hydrogen ion, and converts itself into NADH. Once NADH is made, it will be off to the ETC, or electron transport chain, which is part of that chemiosmotic pathway, in order to make a lot of ATP. Once NAD plus is converted into NADH, a CO2 is going to be kicked off, a CO2 will be released, again that is a carbon, it comes from the pyruvate, this is a process that will convert pyruvate into a two carbon acetyl. This process is actually called oxidative decarboxylation. The decarboxylation is remove a carbon and it is a process. Olation means process, carbo is carbon, and D means remove. So this is a process of removing a carbon from our pyruvate by oxidizing the molecule. Again, oxidation is the loss of electrons. NAD plus is reduced in a coupled reaction with the oxidation of pyruvate. In order to convert pyruvate into acetyl, we have to remove that carbon. It is called oxidative decarboxylation, and that means we will cut that carbon off by re uh, oxidizing the molecule. Again, NADH is made, and that is off to the ETC, or chemiosmosis. Once we make the acetyl, we are going to add a coenzyme A called, or shortened, to CoA to our acetyl in order to form acetyl-CoA. Once acetyl-CoA is made, that molecule can be ushered directly into the Krebs cycle, which again takes place in the mitochondrial matrix, which is the fluid within that mitochondria. Krebs cycle is a process that will make a lot of the NADH and FADH2 molecules, which are high energy compounds that will shuttle electrons and hydrogen ions into the same pathway that these NADH molecules go through, which is chemiosmosis, in order to make tons of ATP per glucose. That's it for this really short targeted video. If you learned something, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, See ya.